Hi, this is Brad Carlton from True Fire here to show you how to get the most out of your ZT lunchbox. Now this amplifier packs a lot of punch, 200 watts in a nine and a half pound package. Let's look at the controls and that way you'll have some idea how you're supposed to run this thing. All right, we're gonna start with the gain. Now gain controls how much distortion, how much sensitivity the amplifier has. We're gonna start off with a clean sound. So the gain is set quite low. Your volume obviously will be what controls your output. Now, if the gain is down low, obviously it's not gonna be as loud as when you start turning the gain up. So be forewarned, if you turn that gain up, it's gonna jump out at you. So you might wanna always drop your volume back when you start moving to the higher range of distortion. All right, and then you have your tone control. So obviously as you turn it counterclockwise, it's a dark sound, great for jazz. And when you start turning it up, see how it gets glassy, brings out the high notes. We'll be exploring that because we're going to take some jam tracks and play with different guitars over some jam tracks and talk about how you can dial in just the sound you need when you need to play along with a track or with a band. Then you have the ambience control. Now this does some other interesting things. You can hear it's a tonal sweep, so all you really need to do with that is just tweak it. Just play around and experiment with what it sounds like. We're gonna set that pretty much around 11, 12 o'clock up there. Let's start off by playing, I'm using a Warrior guitar, it has Seymour Duncan humbuckers. I'm gonna play on the neck humbucker, and I'll have everything wide open. I may roll the tone back just a hair. And you see, I want a clean sound, so what do I do? I don't turn the gain up too high. And the tone, I'm gonna set it pretty much right in the middle. We'll play along with the track, it's just a little jam in A. You can just use an A major scale. So I have a nice warm sound going on. I can play octaves, get a real warm jazz sound, roll the tone back a little on the guitar. It's very articulate, every note's right there. Let's brighten it up just a little bit. Go to your tone control and turn it up just a tad. Much more percussive, cuts through. All right, let's turn the gain up just a little bit, drop the volume back. And especially if I'm bending strings, that's. Mm, But it's still not breaking up, it's just sounding warmer and fatter. So we'll turn the gain up a little more, drop the volume back. You can hear it's a little more sustaining in the nature of how the note decays. But it's still quite clean, so we'll put more gain in, drop that volume back. Hear how it's starting to break up just a little bit, especially if I lean into it. But if you pick softly, I'm gonna drop the tone back some. Let's put more gain in. Now it's gonna start purring a little bit. Get that southern rock sound. lean into it, it starts breaking up. Well, let's put some more gain in place. It's starting to really hum. 